Mary Anderson, born in 1866 and hailing from Birmingham, who worked as a real estate developer, cattle rancher and winemaker at different points of her life, was riding on a streetcar during a visit to the Big Apple sometime around the turn of the 20th century. It was a wintry day and the freezing rain that fell made windshield visibility absolutely awful for the streetcar operator. Of course, this wasn't the first time that a streetcar operator had to contend with poor visibility created by intense weather conditions. However, it was the first time that Anderson experienced a chilly blast of air when the driver moved a window pane to stick his head outside and view the road conditions. This was a pretty common practice during a time when the horse and buggy was a much more popular mode of transportation. It also created a fair amount of discomfort for the passengers sitting close to the front as well as the driver, whose visibility was much improved when sticking his head outside in stormy weather. On other vehicles, drivers would manually clean their windshield after pulling over the side of the road or even attempt to remove debris from the windshield while driving. Almost immediately, Anderson began to conceive a design for a windshield wiper which could be operated by a driver from within a vehicle, which improved visibility while eliminating uncomfortable interactions with the wintry environment. Over the course of many months, Anderson settled on a working prototype, a set of wiper arms constructed from wood and rubber which could be operated through the use of a lever installed close to the steering wheel. Pulling on the lever would initiate a spring mechanism that dragged the wiper arm across the windshield, clearing away snow, rain and debris. On November 10, 1903, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office issued U.S. Patent Number 743801, entitled Window Cleaning Device, to Anderson. The windshield wiper protected by this patent was removable so that it wouldn't obstruct a driver's vision during fair weather. Even so, there were many detractors who took issue with Anderson's innovation, some even arguing that the wiper would prove to be a dangerous distraction to a driver. Interestingly, it's believed that Anderson never profited from her windshield wiper patent. She was never able to attract any investment in the technology one of her major rejections came from a Canadian manufacturer who saw no practical value to the invention. Automobile technologies didn't start experiencing the exponential growth they enjoyed in the earliest parts of the 20th century until about a decade after Anderson's patent was issued. Although windshield wipers were standard equipment on most vehicles by 1916, her patent expired before she was able to reap any royalties or licensing fees.